Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Marty's really hoping Lot of Part doesn't no, come back yeah. in this episode. <laughs> yeah. You got her twice in the last game. You got her game. twice. She she was in the game twice? Yeah, she was in the Korean Village one, and she was in the, the Nicholas Sandler one. I forgot she was in the Korean Village one. She's like, I just came to the Korean she Village! She was a witness! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> Anyways. I blocked that out of my memory. Today on Phoenix Red Trials and Tribulations, we are going to actually, you know, examine the room that the CEO died in. Oh, yeah. So let's start with the safe. Ew! Think about it! A dead guy was laying in here all night! Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. What? Did he burn off his fingerprints? They meant on the safe handle, oh. Marty. Oh. Well, someone opened the safe on the night of the crime, right? Yeah, and so? Well, if Mr. Bullard's body was hidden in here, it must mean that it was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? They were in um, gloves. Okay, shoot. Opening this baby's no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Yeah, and? Everyone that knows how to open this safe has airtight alibis. I checked. Everyone except one, that is. I'm almost afraid to ask. Former security chief, Ron Delight. What? Ron Delight? He was a security chief? Ron? So he knew how to open the safe, huh? <laughs> he gets home from work. Hey, honey, you want to know this great trick? I'm going to teach you how to open the safe. <laughs> Gee! One, two, five, six. Opening a safe will be easy with the spy, cheese, and safe cracker kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just too much. <laughs> yeah, sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. I don't know how else it would work. This rope. Do you think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? I don't think so. So you mean... Yeah, I think this string shows where and how the corpse was lying. You mean... The victim... He was killed by being crushed by the safe door?! She, she can't be serious, can she? Wow, look at that huge framed photo! Tall mountains rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. There's a little title that's written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? That was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he had really rotten luck with the whoever. Maybe if he had lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days. Or maybe it's like here, where you don't get good sunrises. <laughs> this must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out just for a second. Ooh, nice. I feel, I feel just like a CEO. Hey, you! Whip me up a good cup of that really expensive import tea and some scones! Move it! Ah, oh, this is the life. Um, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. <laughs> is there blood on there? <laughs> no. Okay. Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick! Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work, just a little hard on the eyes. Ah! W what did you find out, Nick? This file, it's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about Mask to Mask. It's filled with info on him. Finally I could yawn. I've been trying to yawn for like two minutes. But Maya kept but talking. But Maya kept talking. Oh. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Oh! Maybe the CEO was on to him was like, Hey bro, if you don't- Maybe it's from the CEO, maybe he's like, Hey, I know what you're doing! I don't want you robbing from my place! Better bring me money if you don't want this thing to get leaked out to the public! Because the CEO was keeping tabs Duh. on him. Yeah, but- The blackmail letter was signed to the <laughs> CEO, CEO, basically. Well, it could've been faked! <laughs> it could've been. And he said, if you don't want your identity exposed. Yeah, no, but I'm saying- And like, it was it sent looks... to mess to mess. Okay, but I'm saying maybe, like, before I was like, oh, that could be faked by someone. 
Like before, I was like, there's not like. <laughs> Marty gets a clue. It's probably <laughs> fake. We don't need to worry about it. <laughs> no, I thought like you know how CEOs, it's like, oh, we have our like wax seal. Of, what is this Declaration of Independence? We have our wax seal to prove our identity, or else like yeah. people could fake it. And I didn't see anything like that on there. Mm. And Franklin with his wax seals. I don't know. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nick, look at this last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of Eminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Mask the Mask stole. So then $100,000 is the value of the stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Kane's list added to the court record. Citizen Kane's list. Okay. These look like some kind of bookshelf rolling cabinet hybrid. I can't get between these two shelves! Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with a bunch of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's reading, if you've got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little more exciting, like UFOs or something! Sure. Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. <laughs> she pushed it. Why would you push it? <laughs> hey, cut it out! Don't press that! <laughs> that was pretty funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe would could jump like that. What is that button anyway? It's an emergency buzzer! It says right there on the panel! Oops, you're right. It's written right there. <laughs> Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? This alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up there. Really? Then it's possible on the night of the crime? Oh! So when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. But they said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Except the Mayas. <laughs> Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Hmm, I think we better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. Cool. And we got it added to the core record, so you know it's important. Let's look at- uh, we can talk to him again, I think. We can ask him about Godot. We already asked him about Godot. We can present stuff to him, though. Look at this! Detective Gumshoe, about this right here. Sorry, it's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. I can see your eyes and the ears. But the jury is still out on the brain thing. Wow. Hey, Nick, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. <laughs> yeah, ask about this. this was his first heist, and I guess I underestimated him. I was sure I was going to get him, so I was careless and lost the info on the witness. By witness, do you mean the guard in this photo? Yeah, he and the detective worked together to try to catch Mask to Mask. But he got away anyway, huh? That guard. I got the weird feeling that I've seen him around lately. Okay. Um, so about this. Huh? What's that? <sighs> hey, wait a minute, Maya! What's wrong? We copied that data without permission. Don't show it to him. He might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. It's just my bill. <laughs> What? That's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. Now I really want you to show it to me. <laughs> oh yeah, we never looked at this. Tier of Eminon, Jewel, $100,000. Crown of Bangora, Artifact, $150,000. Left Hand of Hades, Sculpture, $240,000. Portrait of Magina, the Painting, $500,000. So, I wonder, maybe Mask to Mask wanted to come to this safe. He was hiding the co the crown jewels of England but, in there. No, but maybe there was like some sort of big fortune thing. <laughs> That's then, Scrooge's number one die. <laughs> yeah, like that. No, but maybe there's like some sort of big top secret thing that he could have there. And then like he mixed up the blackmail thing and was like, oh hey, what if I gave it to this random guy? It has the Muppet Standard Rich in the famous contract. contract. <laughs> oh man. Uh, connected to the basement security guard office, there are no fingerprints on there. Cool. Yeehaw. Yo, look at Mia Faye, ain't she cute? Oh, that's Miss Mia Faye! She was a truly beautiful person, pal. Huh? You knew her? You knew my sis! 
Oh, he did not. I think I told you about this before. Everyone in the police force knew her. They told her we all had a crush on her, too. We all lost a great friend that day. I, I just got soap into my eye. I'm not crying. Aw, poor dude. Look, it's Maya and Pearl. <laughs> Definitely show off both of them. You're such a familiar face to me now, you know? And now that I think about it, you're the real victim in this case, right? But for some strange reason, it's hard to think of you as a victim, pal. Maybe because you're not murdered? You're darn right I'm the victim! That was our most precious treasure! Haha. <laughs> you know, pal, I think I know why I can't think of you as a victim of whatever. Uh -huh. Detective Gumshoe, what about this person? I'm sorry, pal. To be honest, my head is just so full right now, it feels like it's gonna burst. But, Paul, <laughs> but poor little Pearl! Note to self, keep hair away from Dick Gumshoe's head. Um, look at the, look at the... <laughs> He's 48. <laughs> He's 48? He looks pretty old. Detective Gumshoe, tell us about Mr. Shane Bo Bluebard! That's Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebard, pal. Oh, yeah. The victim in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. What? Made an impression on me? It's Reggie from Nintendo. <laughs> Poor Reggie! <laughs> well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Also, oh, I know the other person he reminds me of. Remember that dude from Up on Poppy Hill that's like, uh, I guess I could give you the school and I can just go by and oh, get the, the place chairman. Of, the chairman, that's what I'm thinking. I <laughs> yeah, could, a little bit. <laughs> I could just do the Olympics elsewhere. They're like, yeah! Wait, what? No, remember where they're they like. They changed the location of the Olympics? <laughs> no, they wanted they wanted to. Burn. Not burn. He wanted to take down that yes, so they the could Latin build quarter. a stadium for the Olympians, right? No! What was it for, then? <laughs> no, he just wanted to build up a new clubhouse. <laughs> no, no, we want I the old one! For, I thought it was for the Olympics in the coming years. They're not holding the Olympics at the <laughs> school, Marge. No, but I thought they were going to, like, build a stadium there, and then they were going to train. No, I don't... I want to look this up on my phone, but no, I don't have my how, phone how down here. How about after the case, or after the episode? But then okay. nobody will care. I don't think anybody cares right now! <laughs> anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? <laughs> Sorry. I have actually never saw that movie myself. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now is our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask! Yo, how about Desiree, though? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, what about this person? Aw, oh, man. I don't remember this hot lady. Detective <laughs> Gumshoe, you don't know her! Aw, oh, man. How about Larry Butts? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Sorry, pal. <laughs> this guy's a real puzzle, if you ask me. Then maybe I should be asking you. Do you know something about him? Well, we Why would I know coffee. something? Well, it sure sounded like you two knew each other from the way you acted today. It's Mr. Cadeau that acts like he knows Nick, not the other way around. Exactly. You'd think I'd remember someone like that. I still say the whole thing's a bit suspect. Tr truth is, he's just like also from Phoenix's school. He's like the punk kid. It's like he was the kid who blamed Phoenix for stealing the lunch money. <laughs> Originally, yeah, because that was just a nameless kid. That'd be cool. He seems the young. Victim. Can you tell us uh, some more about Mr. Bullard? <laughs> <laughs> he was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh, and? And, I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too! I just love money! I can't ever get enough! Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. <laughs> anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his, earn his millions. Oh, so that's my problem. I think I need to be shiftier! Let me go already. <laughs> Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Mask to Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Boyer who sent her on the blackmail letter, huh? Probably. Unless someone got a hold of it. Mm -hmm. Security room. Let's go! October 13th, KB Security Security Guard Office. Apparently, yeah. Wow. This is really something else. For a security guard office, it sure doesn't feel very secure. K 
KB security guard. Uh oh, I just remembered where he might be. Hey, Nick! What's up? <laughs> ah, so he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Uh, hi, Larry. Here I was working my fingers to the bone. And in walks an angel. I ain't got no problems with a daytime date. It's all good. No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy have I got some good info for you. Cool. Really? What is it? Hmm. Well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya, but Nick here is a different story. But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then, and this is now! Okay, so why? Also, this is Larry Butts' new theme. Yeah, this kinda works for him. <laughs> kinda reminds me of, like, Pac-Man. Maybe. Good info. So what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard! A pro! I can't just give away information for free! He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, HONEST?! <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk to him, Maya? Larry, tell us already! What's the good info? Hey, I like that! This kid has got some claws! Okay, so yo, you really wanna know? Yes, yes! So tell me! Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. Follow me? Yes! You're a pro! I follow you! Go on! Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired! And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Like maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something. Not like you. No, that. that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors. All the time. What is this, the Jetsons? <laughs> monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. So it's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur driver, so if it's just something small, I don't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV all day long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is with the rope around his one arm? Uh, that's holding his badge. See? His badge right there? Yeah, but the rope isn't attached to that, is it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's just a little hook. Barely. Barely. Okay. I can't see, apparently. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Well, why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb! Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's not fair, Nick! Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is that you were here that night, right? Yeah. Two. Okay. <laughs> Not more. Oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then, and this is now, okay? This is like when he had his headphones on, and he's like, oh, I kind of heard this gunshot through them, it's like, how? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to break his psych lock after all. <laughs> well, let's, let's examine the room first, shall yeah. we? Does he work alone? In that room? I don't know. Those screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I, it, what, I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on these too? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. <laughs> hey Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? <laughs> because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? I just realized Larry must have the worst hours ever if he was working at midnight and now. He just like works all the time even though it's, it's part time. Part -time. So maybe it's flexible. Maybe it's flexible, yeah. That's my workstation. Pretty cool, huh? I keep a steady eye on the monitors and I use that mic for communicating. Look at all the equipment! It must have been hard to operate. No biggie. 
I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. Somewhere? Instruction manual? What are you gonna do in an emergency? Well, I guess I'd start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what us security professionals call teamwork. Even Maya and Pearls could run this place better. I just realized... <laughs> what? Ten Buck says Larry fell asleep and the alarm went off and didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hearing the music real boom and loud like. <laughs> no, I bet that's what happened. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna bet money on it, but I'm guessing he was there and he was just like, Oh yeah, man, you know, like, I was just like hanging out and I kind of zoned out from the TV screens and I just fell asleep and then I woke up and he was dead. <laughs> I bet that's what happened. That would not be out of character. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I don't even know what she was saying that for. I was just <laughs> even Maya and Pearl could run the place better. I think. Oh, okay. That's my partner's seat. Your partner? I swear. Well, <laughs> what if old bag works here? <laughs> well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Um, there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on him. I. It still works fine, more or less. But they really know how to build them, I guess. Okay. Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Hmm. Did you say, hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I, I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh, boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyway? They're desperate. They are desperate. <laughs> they, the they CEO fired died. One. <laughs> Something's written on this poster in fine print. A guard's five commands. Wow, this sounds really serious. Oh, commandments. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Two, respect thy superior. Three, smile at thy superior. Four, salute thy superior. Five, buy donuts for thy superior upon command. It's signed Wendy Oldbag, head supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> There's one okay. old lady in the in series. The entire and series. It's Wendy Oldbag. That is perfect. Once I saw donuts, I was like, yes. She's one tough old bird. Let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with her real, genuine ray gun. <laughs> yeah, sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. So, she's, she's not in the game. Glasses. It's just a reference. But there's a scary. reference. Nice. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. Um, did you know you hung it right on top of some sort of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do! Got a green horn? <laughs> so, why hang your jacket over such an important lever? Because it got me curious. If the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen, huh? It's true. It's killing me too! What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, just present all the hot chicks. All of them. Okay. Uh, Mia, <laughs> first. Hey Larry, there's something I want you to look at. Hey, Nick, I told you, I'm a pro! And you don't interrupt a pro when he's working. I don't have time to sit and chat with you, alright? Oh, is that right? Oh, <laughs> naturally, I've got time for you though, Maya. We're gonna have to squeeze this guy if we want to get more info out of him, huh? Yeah, I think he says that for everything. Unfortunately. What about... Aww. We can present himself. Just... yeah. Nope. Aww. <laughs> At least try Adrian Andrews. We already did that, though, in the oh. earlier episode. Oh my so. gosh, we're the <laughs> Yeah, we said, like, come on, I have such a huge fan for, like, people who wear, like, sleeveless shirts and have, like, the open back and, like, wear black and a ponytail blonde hair. <laughs> it's like, aww. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's very specific, Larry. Alright. Check out the CEO buzzer. Oh, wait, we have all the stuff? I don't know. Or actually, I do know, but do you want to try it? <laughs> um. Or are you, like... I mean, we haven't even been to the detention center, so... Yeah. Hey, Larry, there's something I want you to look at. Hey, Nick, I told you, I'm a pro. And I need just... Um, yeah, let's, let's go to the detention center. I bet we'll find out some stuff about him. I like doing the psych locks last, anyways. Yeah, that works. 
Man, the detention center is like not connected to anything. Yeah. You can only get there from Phoenix Wright's house, people. And I think at me's house. October 14th, detention center visitor's room. I already told you! It's at me! A sad, pitiful whine that taper tapers into silence. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man, and we don't have enough time as is. Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy just like we are. Yesterday they thought he was just a thief, and now they got a murder case on their hands. I guess you're right. That guard over there looks a bit on edge, too. Come on, we'll just have to come up back later. Okay, let's go check out some other place, Nick. Aw, oh, man. Well, I, I guess we, we can break a psych lock. At least one of them. Oh no, it's connected to the hideout. <laughs> hey, pals. <laughs> we could either break Larry's or we could break, uh... What's her face? Adrian's. Probably, probably Larry's, though, let's be fair. He doesn't have enough of a brain to keep it <laughs> Wow, okay. Remember, it could be easy. The night of the crime. On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? You were sleeping. What? Huh? Uh, uh, of course I was! Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Oh, I forgot about that! Ah, but, but that was that, and this is this! Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night, too? Never! I didn't sneak out! I tell you what, I even bet you a dollar! A dollar? Wow, now that's confidence! What's with that drenched in the rain puppy look on your face? Do you have evidence that I left my position, or are you just pulling my chain? The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened is... Um, I... I do not know! At the current moment, I don't, but I bet I'll find it. Alright, well, attorney's badge shows I'm in the okay. test journey. We've got the oh. Magatama. The treasure oh. exhibit poster, the calling card. No. <laughs> uh, the statue. Camera did in no. the warehouse when I went out. Okay. Security camera photo of no. Mask to Mask. If that was Larry, I'd be Shudashito, uh... Atme got knocked out with it. Yeah, okay. Actually, not really. He just bent it on purpose to make right. it look like it. The blackmail letter. I like how it says blackmail letter on top. That's how you know how it, what it is. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess he didn't He didn't sign it. The, C, the CEO didn't sign it, but it's like, come to KB Security. It's like, gee, I wonder who isn't responsible for this. It's not him. Uh, uh, found in the KB Security building at around 1 a.m. of well, the night of crime. He was walking around finding that, right? Or was that just like, oh, man, Ron Larry, left Larry, this in his... Larry found it, yeah. Okay. Found in Ron's wallet, wallet used on October 12th, the night of the crime at 1 a.m. Publicity the photo news, of his mask yeah. mask, his brooch, uh, Kane's autopsy report, yep. the newspaper clipping of the nope. tier of heist, Kane's list, nope. and then the buzzer. Yeah, I think it's the thing from before then. Which one? Um, either the the wallet or the call or the card. Hmm, which one would you say? Probably the wallet, because that's got both in it. Yeah. But, let's do the wallet thing. <laughs> Whew! I was scared for a minute. Hmm, Larry seems pretty relieved. That's it? That's it. But I tell you, I'm not relieved! I'll even bet you 70 cents! I'm going to break this psych lock if it's the last thing I do. Who was with the baby who had his favorite toy taken away from him look on your face? <laughs> wow. Do you have evidence I left my position? <laughs> uh-huh. Look at that. This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. LIAR! You hand-delivered this wallet to Mr. White just yesterday! <laughs> Give me a break! You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. <laughs> what time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 a.m. in the morning on the first floor of our company building. 1 o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. No! <laughs> yeah, but there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murderer might have snuck in before then. The when... autopsy report! That's so simple! Well, no, he might have snuck in there and waited until 1 p.m. to do the murder. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault! It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine! Oh... Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. 
We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after oh, 10 p.m. Oh, because of the, um, the card. Because of the key card, yep. I was like, wouldn't that just be like- Check out this brooch! <laughs> Whew! Boy, you really had me scared. I've never seen anyone look so relieved in my whole life. What's with that little lamb that can't get the sweet book on your face? Guess I'm gonna have to rattle his cage a little bit more. Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that, yep, that was used at 1 a.m. Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know. That key card data has already been made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go for me. Boy, does that sound like a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. <laughs> anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes, someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Ooh. Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Ah, no! I guess he's not asleep, though. But that was... Aw. Unlock successful. Ooh, I knew it! It's all my fault! It's my fault that the boss was killed! My fault! Larry? But there was nothing I could do! I have important issues to deal with, too, man! What happened that night, anyway? Ah, uh, my Donna happened! Huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my Donna called and said, I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and... He was standing right there next to her! Um, who was? Her new boyfriend! It was like some horrible joke! Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser! Normally, I'm the one who does the punching! Isn't that right, Maya? Yeah. So that's why you left the security guard office? Ah, I'm sorry! It's all my fault! How could I ever make it up for you, Nick? Uh, what can I do? Run! <laughs> He's curled up on the floor crying like a baby. Oh boy. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything! Just name it! I'll do whatever I have to to make it up for it! I swear I will! Larry? Hey, Nick, as long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! Hey, tell us about yourself. <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> That's not necessary, Nick. You don't have to fret me. I'll tell you what I do know. its I know it's tough to tell, but I'm really sorry about what happened. Wow, I've never seen Larry look so serious. I actually believe him. Yeah, he's like a totally different person. In that case, maybe you and I could get reacquainted. <laughs> oh, okay. This is one of Karain's greatest treasures. I used to have zero interest in all this old junky stuff, but now that I'm a new person, well, I can kind of see the appeal. Hey, I got it! Why don't we all go visit one of those musty old temples next time? I think I could actually learn to like this new lair. Yeah, but he still hasn't told us anything useful. I never knew he, like, now says something about, like, every Everything. piece of- Yeah, wow. Um, I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but I really don't know what to say about that. What is it, Nick? It's just that he seems so, I don't know, pleasant. How about the- How about that? Oh, same thing. Okay. Go, go, Joseph! Um, They're probably listen carefully, cows. okay, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought of with that too. <laughs> They're probably They're probably hiding a cow. I know you're hiding a cow. <laughs> listen carefully, okay, Nick. I know you don't think much of me as a person, but I'm no thief, and I would never wear a goofy getup like that. Um, nobody ever accused you of being a thief. It's too much work for me, making plans, writing calling cards, etc, etc. I'd rather just pull and dine and dash at a burger joint. Burgers? I love burgers too! Really? Well, how about it? Wanna go on a burger date tonight? At least pay for the food because I'm not defending you again. <laughs> Do it. I wanna see where that goes. I, w I would pay to see that date. <laughs> yeah. Someone make a fan art. Oh, I'm sure that exists. 
Aw, oh, man. Corrine's Greatest Treasures. Corrine's Greatest Hits, a.k.a. Kids Bop 39. <laughs> <laughs> Just Phoenix Wright music? Um, so what about this? Huh? Maya, you shouldn't have! A love letter for me? It's bribery. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. This is a blackmail letter. What?! Uh, how do you know about that, Maya?! Huh? How much is Alexis demanding this time? Huh? Who is this Alexis? Didn't we show him this letter yesterday, too? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> Larry? <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's the wallet I found! You found it when you snuck out of work to get socked in the kisser, right? I didn't sneak out of work to get socked in the kisser. If only I'd been more responsible at work. I might have spotted the murderer on the monitor like I was supposed to. Mary, you really do feel bad, don't you? Yeah, well, maybe it's all for the best. I think it's brought Desi and I closer together. Just like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. You gotta see that old water glass is half full, am I right? I actually do agree with that. Not like in this case, now, but... <laughs> now he's starting to sound like the Larry I know. Don't forget, Nick, half full! So, was this the card that was used by the culprit that night? Well, going off the serial number, then yeah. This card was used to open the CEO's office door at 1 in the morning. Your client had this card, right? Then it's a no-brainer. He's the killer, man. Maybe he stole it. Check out the- oh wait, this is gonna be the same thing, yeah. I'm not a thief! <laughs> I'm the <laughs> Burgers, burgers, burgers! They are totally going on that burger uh, uh. <laughs> date. Aw, oh, man, come on. I thought for sure he'd I thought he'd be like, hey, that's me. <laughs> uh, man, I don't I don't know about a list of money. <laughs> nope. Let's go to profiles. Phoenix Wright. You're 26 years old, right? Don't you think it's about time you took a ball and hard look at your life? Oh, Didn't we've we seen look at this? Yeah, we've seen this. You can only really screw up and hope to recover a cover from what it is. <laughs> huh? Well, I guess so. I'm not taking talking about you, Maya. You're already perfect. It's hard to imagine Larry not screwing up that any. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh yeah, that's right. We, were pre we presented. Wow! Our... But I won't look at Adrian Anders again. <laughs> yeah, but Adrian. What a babe! <laughs> what a babe! Yeah. Was Here's the thing. Funny. Maya doesn't seem like turned off by him flirting with her. So like, yeah. I, 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 I'd ship that. It'd be all right. All right, you want to see yeah. Adrian again? Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man! Don't hold out on me. Forget about it. You don't need to know, and I'm not telling you. Hey, now! I thought we were pals! I got a major fit of girls with black suits and shirts and glasses! <laughs> How do you even know that? <laughs> and if they have an orange colored memo pad, I really lose my cool. <laughs> has to be making that up. You can't really know Adrian. That would be good. How about Larry Bucks? Or, or we, we showed. Good dough. Good dough. I'm really sorry, Nick. I swear I want to change my ways. But the thing is, I just don't have any interest in men. This guy really needs to get his, his mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Larry, you're... Larry's your stereotypical guy, all right. All right, show off, Kane. The CEO of our company. He was a pretty good guy. Huh? Really? Yeah, you bet. You know how I'm not very good at war about working hard, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of noticed. Well, guess what the boss said to me about that? I don't expect much work from you, Larry. In return, just don't expect much pay. I see... I guess he had to follow some kind of dumb law about having security here in the building. So in order to pay the lowest wage possible, he went to the bottom of the barrel. To be honest, I really looked up to the boss. If I ever grow up to be a CEO, I want to be just like him. And don't worry, Nick, I promise I'll hire you for security. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's actually kind of nice. He had actually something positive to say about the CEO. Yeah. Alright, oh, nice. this is the one thing we have to present. Um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right! Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya! <laughs> huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. I promise I'll come running to your rescue, just like the <laughs> professional security guard I am. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. <laughs> Oh, on here. They've got stuff. Okay. Um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. 
Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? Didn't You're a security up. guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor from, of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to, um, adopt a wait-and-see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. <laughs> um, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did! And I wouldn't po I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look at it for me, pretty please? Oh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. I swear if the buzzer goes off. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could have made a mistake with that. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! What? But but how? Can't be. It's impossible! Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning around oh, 1 a.m. Oh, the poor guy. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened! Really? Are you serious? That's terrible! It can't be! Also, whose girlfriend calls her her dude out and be like, I really need to talk to you at one in the morning? And then, like, hey, boyfriend. Right now. I need you to, like, punch him. No, like not a even. Real terrible piece of work. Not, not even that. Just, like, if you need to talk to somebody, just call on the phone. Like, if you really need them at one in the morning, is that. <laughs> That's true. She's like, I need you at 1 a.m. I need you to come to me. And then she's like, boyfriend, beat him. Beat him, him up. <laughs> oh my god. That, that, that's exactly what one of the characters on The Office would do. Really? <laughs> it, for people who've seen The Office, you know exactly which character that I am talking about. Probably based on the voice. <laughs> Alright, well, Bye, we spent like, I think, 30 to 40 minutes just talking to Larry. What? We are, at the, we are at the 42 minute mark of the recording. So oh that's where we're going to end the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will almost certainly, I think we'll finish the investigation. Next. We have to break... Adrian's... Yeah, we gotta break her psych locks and talk to Ron, and that's basically the rest of the investigation, I think. Oh. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.